Hello everyone, welcome to another sketching tutorial. This tutorial is going to be split into two parts. This first video that you're watching, this is the pen and ink drawing process. The second video will be on the coloring process with watercolor. So if you want to follow along, you can download this reference photo from the video description below. This was a photo that I have taken in Hanoi, Vietnam a few weeks ago. For this photo, we have some foreground and background elements. The trees, they overlap the buildings, but overall it seems to be a bit flat. There is some perspective. I am going to add two bikers from this photo to overlap the buildings from this photo to give it more sense of depth. The pen that I'm using today is the Namiki Falcon with a fine nib and the ink is sketch ink which is waterproof when dry. So the first element I want to draw is this structure. This uh, structure with the longest line. I'm going to leave some space at the top and at the bottom. So the space at the top is for this two spotlights. And the space at the bottom for the motorbikes which are always challenging to draw because for each motorbike there are so many little shapes in them okay so this is actually the most important thing once i can fit this boring structure onto the page I will be able to fit all the other elements. I will add the details later on. So let's go on to draw the buildings behind. This line it looks kind of horizontal but it's slightly tilted. So I want to draw that here. I'm going to leave a space here so that I can draw the tree like that. And maybe I want to draw the tree since it overlaps the roof. And the tree should stop somewhere here. And this is where the other roof is. This line here, it's more tilted compared to this line. So after that, I can just break down the scene. This line should be sort of parallel to this. Oops, um, I should be a bit more careful. Some of the lines, they are parallel. They look parallel. And this will be here. These are the blue plastic curtains. and the roof will go down like this and there is a tree that is a huge tree by the way that's right here and then it curves up slightly this is the bottom of that tree i'm comparing the bottom of the tree here to this structure here I will draw the details later on. Seems like this tree, there are some leaves here. And let's draw to the bottom. The bottom of the tree will stop in the middle of the bike here. And there are some additional structures here on the street. And there are some more bikes here. Again, those bikes, very challenging to draw. When drawing really small, if you run out of space, you can just leave the details, don't draw them. For that street uh, sign there, I'm going to use um, opaque markers later on to draw that the red street sign 
it looks like there is a tall building behind These are the windows More leaves here to cover, to block the building behind Sometimes I like the trees because they block all the things behind, you don't have to draw them Let's continue on this side. There is this small roof here. It goes down like this. And below the roof, there are people hanging clothes. So I'm drawing some details here. And there, there is a white building here. Sometimes I like to draw with a fountain pen that has very thin lines. Sometimes I like to draw with a medium fountain pen. It really depends. So this is a balcony that comes out. This balcony will stop here below this roof. And I think there is this hand railing here. I'm just going to use vertical lines for the hand railing. Actually, the railing has more details than that. And we have the clothes. So for the clothes, let's try and make them recognizable. We have some t-shirts. We have some jeans. Maybe a blouse here. Another top. And this tree here is going to block off part of the building. Let's continue drawing this part here. So I'm going to draw the road first to create some sort of boundary so that I can draw within this shape. And I'm going to break down the shape. This looks like a roof to me and continues here oops i should have left the white space there for drawing the tree so this tree will go down all the way to the bottom and the roof continues to the left side of the tree so as i'm drawing i'm always asking myself where's this line it's to the left side where's the other line it's to the right side it's only by telling yourself and asking yourself where the lines are that you can draw more accurately. So this bike, it's to the left side of the tree. And this bike is to the right side. And we have the signboard here. I'm going to leave all the street signs and not draw them with ink because I will draw them with the Posca opaque markers later on. This is the shop front. There are some people seated there. One person there, the second person. So this is Hanoi. People like to sit in front of shops on their small little stools. And we have, oh my goodness, a few motorbikes here. Very difficult to draw. But as with um, drawing, the more you draw, the better you get. But these are genuinely difficult to draw. Do they look like bikes to you? We have some people in the shop as well. Another person here. So we can continue drawing the details on the left side, the shops. 
the signs, the storefront, the advertising, the little squares and rectangles, the doorways. I'm not even going to like copy all the details exactly. Okay, here I think I made some mistakes here. This motorbike, the bottom of the bike should align with this. So I drew this too high or I either I drew this too high up or I drew this too low. But I think I drew this a bit too high up. So uh, what I can do is maybe for the next bike, I'm just going to draw an overlap here to move this down a bit. Okay, now it doesn't look that great. It's a mistake. Anyway, sometimes when I make mistakes, I will just keep on drawing. I'll try not to go over the mistake. I'll try to fix it. I will just keep drawing. Another bike here. Another bike here as well. Oh yeah, I remembered I needed to add the two cyclists, uh, sorry, the bikers from another photo into this sketch. For those bikers, maybe I should just add one. So the lights will be here. And this is where the hand will be. I'm going to be using this blind contour drawing technique to sort of draw this biker. This is the other hand. Wow, the shapes are challenging. So part of the bike is going to be cropped off. I drew the legs too short, but I think it's, it still looks all right here. Okay, the helmet, the headgear, and this lady. This biker, she is actually wearing a face mask. All right, I think this should this looks fine. Back to this part again, more bikes. Another bike, one person standing here. Another person in the back. More people. So one of the good things about Good advantage about using a pen this thin is you can draw details very easily this sketch is almost done so now i just need to add the details by the way if you want to check out more sketching tutorials you can consider supporting me on patreon patreon is a monthly subscription service where you can pledge a certain dollar amount to support the artist that you like so it is with Patreon that I am able to create all the videos that you see on my YouTube channel as well as the extra tutorial videos for all my supporters and patrons. It's a subscription service where you can cancel anytime you want. The link to my Patreon page is in the video description below. So this is the completed sketch. Today is the 25th. 5th of October 2019. Now in the next video I will be 
coloring this sketch with a limited color palette. So see you in the next video.